three reasons why you might be failing at vibe coding. One, you use the wrong model. Use Claude Sonnet. When another model becomes better, switch to it. But for now, stick with the safe choice. Two, you have a huge context. No, that's not a good thing. You vibe code yourself straight into the valley of death or the black hole of death. It's still being decided. Keep your context small. When the context grows too big, that's when the AI starts going insane. Stay below 40%. When it gets above 40%, consider using summarization, either with the forward slash and choosing summarizing cursor, or ask it to make a summary by hand, or save it to a summary.md file and copy or load it in a fresh chat. 3. You don't use a plan. Theory is when you know everything, but nothing works. Practice is when everything works, but you don't know why. When you vibe code, theory and practice are combined. Nothing works and you don't know why. To avoid that, I used to follow the model's thinking in cursor. Of course, you can't maximize all thinking rows. They were too busy hiding your context size to implement such a useful feature. So I had to click and click and click just to follow its thoughts. I did this so I could stop it before it went way off track and bring it back to reason. But there's a better way. Use a plan. Make the architectural decisions beforehand. Then the AI handles the lower level work and follows your direction instead of you chasing its train of thought and correcting it every two minutes. Closer to the Ralph Wiggum method. There used to be companies like this in the past, where architects would give programmers plans and even method and class names and programmers would just implement the remaining code. Congratulations, you're now an architect.